if you are a parent of a three to six year old kid, you may come across a situation like this. It may happen quite often. You want to take your child out in the evening, but you want to wear her a sweater and a scarf. You think it is cold, but the child thinks the other way around. She thinks the weather is perfectly all right for her. There is no need to wear a scarf. But this argument goes on. Then how do you deal with this situation? Hello and welcome. This is Prashant. I'm an English teacher. Besides teaching English grammar, communication skills and second PUC English textbook, I often come up with some interesting topics to discuss with you. Today, I'm going to introduce a book to all the parents who would like to engage themselves in a meaningful way, in a meaningful way with their children. How to talk so kids will listen. Listen so kids will talk. This is the title of the book. How to talk so kids will listen and listen so kids will talk by Adele Faber and Ellen Matish. I am going to take up few comics from the same book and show you the contrasting conversations between parents and kids. Just by looking at that, you will understand. Here I'm not going to talk about the book. I'm only introducing this book to you. And you may find it interesting. If you find it interesting, you can read this. Let us really focus on some comics that we have here. And these comics will tell themselves what can be done by a parent. The first one, Eric punched me so, daddy, do you hear me? I can hear, go on. I'm listening to every word. No, you are not. So I hit him. I, so I hit him back. Then he hit me again. Are you listening? I can listen and watch the game at the same time. Go on. Oh, forget it. What happened here? Father did not listen to the child with full attention. When we don't listen to our children with the full attention, they may lose interest. What can be done? The contrasting conversation to the same situation. Let us see that. Eric punched me, so, Daddy, do you hear me? Moment at that moment, the parent turned towards the child, turns towards the child. So I hit him back. Then he hit me again, even harder. He's mean. You know what? I am going to play with Danny from now on. He doesn't go around punching people. What happened here? The difference is that child came up with her own solution. This happened because parent or father has listened to her with the full attention. If we listen to our children with the full attention, they may feel secured, they may feel comfortable, and they may express themselves honestly. Let us look at another comic. What happens with the parents most often is that we question or we advise. Something like this happened maybe in the school. You can see in the comic. Somebody stole my new red pencil. Are you sure you did not lose it? Mother asking. Probably mother. We have had things taken before, you know. This isn't the first time. I always tell you to keep your valuables in your desk. The trouble with you is you never listen. I didn't, I didn't. It was on my desk when I went to the bathroom. Well, what do you expect? If you leave your things lying around, they'll be stolen. Or oh, leave me alone. Don't be fresh. This is another conversation. In this conversation, you can see 
parent is hard, quite harsh on the child. Suppose this is handled better, just like this. You listen, listen, but listen with patience. Do not question. Instead of questioning and advising, you can just listen to a child and add a word. Hmm, huh, oh, is it something like that? The entire course of the conversation will be altogether different. You can see it. Somebody stole my new red pencil. Oh, that's the third time I have had my pencil ripped off. Hmm. I left it on my desk when I went to the bathroom and somebody took it. Hmm. I knew from now on when I leave the, leave the room, I'm going to hide my pencil in my desk. I see. What happened here? Nothing happened when we questioned. But when we really shown some sympathy towards the child, when we acknowledged her feelings, it happened in your own favor, actually. So you can be compassionate, show sympathy, and can be soft so that they will, they will come up with their own ideas or solutions to the problems they come across. The last picture I'm going to show you. We deny children and their feelings. We think they don't, they don't have it. Uh, they are not capable of all those kind of feelings. But they are very sensitive. Look at this comic. Look at this conversation. My turtle is dead. He was alive this morning. Now don't get so upset, honey. The child starts crying. Stop that. I will buy you another turtle. Don't cry. He's only a turtle. Now you are being unreasonable. Oh, I don't want another. I don't want another. Child starts weeping and you know falls on this floor. But this can be handled differently. Let us look at this. My turtle is dead. He was alive this morning. Oh no, what a shock. Taught him to do tricks. You two had fun together. He was my friend. To lose a friend can hurt. You really care about that turtle. I fed him every day. You can see in the picture. Child did not weep or cry any longer, did not fall on the floor, and did not resist. Rather, she feels comfortable. Rather, she feels good that there is someone who is showing some empathy. So if you show sympathy, if you understand their feelings and acknowledge their feelings, if you accept their feelings, they may come up with their own solutions. They may console themselves. They can be reasonable, not so unreasonable as we see in the previous comic on the same situation. So this can be dealt differently. Let me add one more. Describe, instead of ordering, instead of scolding, you can describe your child about something that went wrong. How many times do I have to tell you to turn off the bathroom light after you use it? Hard, isn't it? But look at the another picture of the side. Just showing the child what is to be done. The light is on in the bathroom. I think that could be enough for a child to understand. So there are many more things like this in this book, which you can relate yourself to if you find this book interesting and you can read this book. For more such interesting approaches, I recommend you to read this book, How to Talk So Kids Will Listen and Listen So Kids Will Talk.